Olá, viajantes do espaço-tempo! Esse é apenas um trecho de um vídeo sobre sincronicidade do canal do Jason Gregory. Então, se você quiser assistir o vídeo completo depois, é só ir no canal dele. O link tá aqui na descrição. Bom vídeo! Lao Tzu's teaching of sticking to the yin with a conservative application of the yang aligns you with the universal order of Tao. Your entire being becomes an extension of the universe, as the universe has become your entire body. Its magic and splendor come to life as your perception is cleansed and intelligent spontaneity has been evoked, bringing universal harmony to the world through your consciousness. When our being aligns with the universe and its process through intelligent spontaneity, we begin to experience synchronicity without needing to rationalize the experience. This process takes our intellectual discernment from merely seeing coincidence to perceiving synchronicity. In the logical sphere built around our culture and society, we see the unfolding of life as a matter of mere chance with no real significance or meaning. This view of ourselves as strangers to this world puts us in a constant battle with the events of life. The art of Wei, on the other hand, is an affirmation of life because Wei is a trust in the function of the universe and how it expresses itself through human beings. Chance has no place in this context because all events are perceived as fate and therefore have deep meaning for us. Chance arises out of our primal instincts for survival because we incorrectly believe we are opposed by the events of life. The idea of chance, then, relates to the unnatural, linear perspective of life. This perspective sees the future as having no significance to the way we are in the present or in the past. Taoist wisdom rejects the idea of chance because it is a one-dimensional perspective. Being bound to the world of form, chance excludes the inner world. Fate which takes into account the relationship between our inner and outer worlds, is diametrically opposed to chance. This relationship is of the same essence as the natural, non-linear world. Fate is non-linear because it depends on our inner world synchronizing with the external world. This synchronization relates to the deep content and conditioning of our mind, which remains unconscious. The Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung discovered this connection between the unconscious and the material world through his own experience. Jung states, when an inner situation is not made conscious, it appears outside its fate. Jung postulates that the unconscious and fate conspire against the conscious self to further the growth of the individual. This is one of the main principles for understanding the shadow element of the psyche, as the world we experience will continue to reveal suppressed and unconscious aspects of our minds. Both fate and the unconscious uproot our plans to control life. Our identity, or ego, is the aspect of ourselves that attempts to control and plan our present and future experience. But as we all know, no matter how hard you try to control life, it somehow has a way of changing those plans. And yet upon self-reflection, you discover that these unexpected events helped to shape your life and allowed it further in a growth. So what we think disturbs our life is actually fate and our unconscious conspiring against our rigid personality for the purpose of our evolution as individuals. As the softness of water slowly wears away at the hardness of rock, so too does fate wear away at the rigidity of our conditioned identity. Fate relates to the unconscious, those deep aspects of ourselves that need to be made conscious for us to grow. This process has nothing to do with the ego, because the ego is built on conditioned beliefs and thinks it knows what is best for you. But your ego does not know what is best for you. It is the lazy, distracted aspect of your mind which believes it is special. What is best for you arises out of fate, which brings to light those aspects of yourself that your ego has suppressed. Being built into the fabric of consciousness, we cannot live exactly how we want according to our identity, because everyone's life would resemble their pleasures and fantasies, and this would put them grossly out of sync with the homeostasis of the planet. This is not freedom. 
In the modern era, we are audaciously attempting to build a world based on our pleasures and fantasies. But we are slowly learning that nothing can be learned from a world whose chief motive is to avoid pain. You only have to look into your own life to understand that pain has humbled you and has given you the greatest growth. This striving for control and pleasure is the major difference between organized religion and Lao Tzu's Taoist understanding of fate. The faith of many religions is based on the hope that one day the events of life will turn in favor of our conditioning and pleasures, instead of understanding that to trust fate is to have faith in God. When we trust the unfolding of fate in our lives, we become aware of synchronicity. Synchronicity is the language the Tao uses to offer its miraculous guidance. But the spiritually blind see this guidance merely as coincidence. Wu Wei, if sincerely understood and followed, harmonizes our inner world with the outer world. This harmony is evident through the synchronicities we experience in our lives. Instead of the idea that fate is against us, synchronicity demonstrates that fate is a teacher that softens our hearts into an honest humility. If we can truly live Wu Wei, the magic and miracles of the universe come to life through synchronicity. It is as if the source of Tao is speaking to us directly. When you trust the workings of the universe, its evolutionary unfolding begins to be mirrored in your own experience. It is as if reality is guiding you and revealing a story about yourself and your place within the cosmic spectrum. Though religions speak of divine intervention, many ignore the fact that this intervention is the byproduct of synchronicity. In any event, the idea of divine intervention points out a contradiction in religious belief. If God is separate from the external world, then how could he, she, it, intervene in this world. Becoming aware of synchronicity demonstrates that there is more to the way of the Tao than meets the eye. A trust in life and an alignment with synchronicity affirm life on all levels, physical, mental, and spiritual. These metaphysical, psychological, and spiritual profundities are too vast and deep for the average materialist to comprehend. The spiritual adepts of antiquity never thought of the material world as gross matter, because upon deep contemplation, nature has a story to tell for those who have come to a place of naroda, stillness, within themselves. Synchronicity proves that the material world is not mere gross matter, but the unconscious intelligence of the Tao playing out through our own being. All forms of matter, whether of a human body or a rock, have the same intelligence within them at different degrees of magnitude. The intelligence of Tao synchronizes with the external world when one follows Wu Wei. This trust harmonizes both the inner and outer world through the language of synchronicity. Lao Tzu, like practically all sages, revered nature. In contemplating the interconnectedness of nature, the sages have discovered how we fit into and indeed belong to nature. Those who dwell only in the material world have no such spiritual vision. They do not see how everything is interconnected and unfolding into something that at the moment is beyond human comprehension. Many religions are based on the assumption that the world is merely gross matter and that spirit exists only in humans and not in anything else. Those who reside in pure awareness will know that this is absurd. Yeah.